if you know anything about me, you know I'm just a regular fashionista. So I know you see this nice, beautiful shirt I got on. I brought that from the Straight From The Hip store with Teespring. Guys, go on down there, check it out. We are finally selling merchandise. We got shirts, tank tops, the whole nine yards. Heck, we even got black man pillows, black man socks. You gonna go to the beach this weekend? Get take a black man towel with you. Please, l look at this adorable face. You think she will lie to you? She's telling you, look how comfortable she looks in that picture. But please, check out our merch store. Support us. Join us. Become part of the Straight From The Hip crew and nation. We're building something great here, and now you can get beautiful shirts to show us that you're part of the crew. And I can't wait to be at the beach with my black man towel. <laughs>
one of our principles that our country was founded on. Um, but what, one thing I did want to bring up real quick is now, of course, that there has been word that teams are now interested in Colin Kaepernick. Do we think that he will get a job or at least get an actual tryout with a team going into this season? That's all on Colin Kaepernick. I think the, 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 the timing is perfect for it, but I think me and Coach both have been on this show saying that maybe a chance that Colin doesn't even want to play football again. Mm -hmm. And yep. it's just, you know, so for me, uh, you're right. You, this is, uh, I feel like it's purely going to be on Colin Kaepernick. If he wants to play football again, he'll play football again. If I, I hope he doesn't feel pressured to play. I mean, I actually selfishly hope he doesn't play again because I think that he will go down, uh, uh, you know, a lot more favorable to a lot of people if he doesn't play again. And it, it, he is viewed as having made that ultimate sacrifice you know, to have never been able to play again, you know, being blackballed as he's been, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because, you know, I, he doesn't have but probably a couple more years left in him anyway. And at this point, I don't know how much money he's really going to make doing that. I don't know if it's worth going out there and, you know, taking the blows and getting beat up and all the stuff that's going to go along with it. I don't know if it's worth, you know, having, you know, 115 uh, microphones stuck in your face after every practice and every game. Absolutely. And, um, you Mom. know, Ms. Butler, you said it perfectly. Yeah, Mom. Kneeling as a, a, a form of yielding. And, again, remember, he was told by the Green Beret to kneel instead of sit during the anthem as yep. a sign of honor to the United States and to the flag. So somehow along the narrative of the media and everybody, it got twisted.